Hi everybody! I am coming to you with an all-in-one video, I guess, because I just want to talk about so much and put it all in one video. Um, should have been a little bit more organized. So, <clears throat> I wanted to share a tip with you guys. Actually, no, I, th I think we should do um, the giveaway first. No, no, no. Okay, let's do a tip. So, I've been kind of naive, and I've seen um, lots of you rave about uh, doing using the Copic paper or different kind of cardstock to uh, color with with their to use with your Copics or your markers that you guys have your Spectrum Noir markers and you know I thought oh, what for I can use my regular cardstock which I've always done however um, it does bleed through and I would notice that if I were to color around the lines because it would take me forever just to color one image. So I finally caved in and I placed an order. <clears throat> Where is this paper at? I placed an order for this Express Blending Card Paper. And it was going to take about two weeks to come from Australia or a week and a half. I didn't want to wait. So when I spotted this paper at Michael's, I decided to buy it. I believe this one's $7.99 and I used a 40% off coupon. So it's right next to the Spectrum Noir packs that they sell now um, in the scrapbooking aisles. Maybe that's just my Michaels. I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> another thing was, so I bought this and I decided, okay, I'm going to give it a try. And I was playing with this little uh, image here. And I found that it was still bleeding through the ink that I was using. And I was using... Versifying. I know it's kind of dirty. And so I decided to try this Memento. This is, a lot of you guys use this one. And oh my goodness. This image took me about maybe 10 minutes to color. And it's not it's not anything you know fancy or anything. For some reason this is coming out orange. I don't know why. Okay. And once I did it with the memento, I was Oh my gosh, I did this like in two minutes. I loved it. I was on a roll. I was like, forget it. I'm going to step as many as I can. I was able to blend, and, and I know you can see it here. I was able to just color over the marker, the ink. I've never done that before because it was always bleeding through. So I was able to color over the ink. Nothing happened. Everything was great. I love it. So... For those of you that are naive like me, I think you guys should totally invest in these Copic papers that they now sell at uh, Michael's. By the way, aren't these images super cute? I love them. This is my Vespa girl. I love this one. And then this one's my favorite because I love red wine. And that's coming out purple too. It's funny. My, I need a new camera. Um, so I just got stamping and playing with that. So that was my tip. If any of you guys uh, needed to hear it, I guess. I don't know if you guys are already doing it. Um, what else? Okay, so there goes the paper. Oh, by the way, you guys, I also wanted to share with you guys a lovely surprise I had um, this weekend. I was visiting the new Hobby Lobby that they um, opened up next to my house. And... Um, that same day I went twice, so that night it was a super long line because it was a grand opening. And while I was in line, I decided to grab this magazine that you guys have all seen in line. And I started flipping through it, and I had the baby in the cart with me. So I was, as I was flipping through the magazine, I, got, I saw this. No, not that. I saw this. That's my baby! Can you believe it? I was like, ah, this is my baby. I was telling them, you guys should not charge me. I should charge you guys. And this is from Rochelle. She entered this in here. She designs for, she's part of the design team for Hobby Lobby. She, I had no idea she was going to be in a magazine. I don't know if she mentioned it. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I remember she asked me if, um, when she had these pictures done at the mall, she asked me, I posted them on Facebook. That was like more than half a year ago. 
and she asked me if she can borrow her picture for um, to use for her crafts. Uh, I guess she was selling them, and I said, "Yeah, that would be an honor." So I never expected this. I bought five copies right there on the spot. I was so excited. This is her son right here. Isn't he a cutie? So I was super, super excited about that. Um, so yeah, if you guys are at your Hobby Lobby, pick this guy up. <laughs> Baby will sign it for you. Okay. And another thing was, I wanted to share um, my appreciation, or show my appreciation to my subscribers, my new subscribers, and to my old subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys, for being patient with me and watching my videos and sharing all the love and support that you guys have showed me on YouTube. I believe I've been on YouTube for two years now. Yeah, two, two and a half. And um, I did post a giveaway video um, a couple weeks ago. However, I was in such a hurry. I didn't even, I know I had some of you guys message me because I added it, I added it into the description later, but it wasn't fair for the people that had seen the video before. I forgot to mention that there were gift cards also, not just a stamp set. So um, I decided just to delete the video and not refilm it. So I still have this gorgeous girl stamp set, brand new. This is the Black Star. And the easiest way to give it away, I thought, would be to have a small giveaway. And I just chose the people that left comments on my, my last video, the one that's up right now. So I just... Uh, grab those names, put them on a piece of paper, nothing complicated, and um, cut them out. So everybody's in here. They'll have to comment on my last video. So I'll just choose a winner, and, um, and that's it. And you can just message me for this pretty girl right here. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Ready? By the way, there's some chocolate here. My, my boss gave me this chocolate, so it smells so delicious. You can still smell it. All right. Oh my gosh, my fingers do not fit in here. <laughs> Which one shall it be? Shall it be? They're all the same size. Everybody's in here. I don't know if I should unfold everybody. All right. So, there's writing on the outside because it is a journaling card. All right. This one's really folded. The winner is who is this? Crafty Paws, Christina. Yay! So just message me, and I'll ship over this um, gorgeous girl to you. And um, thank you guys, everybody, for leaving wonderful comments on my videos. Thank you for all your support. Um, I'll just be doing random giveaways from now on. Um, nothing too complicated because I don't have time for that either. I know you guys are swamped as well. Also, I wanted to share um, something new I invested in. Oh, before I do that, I bought this um, this paper pack that I saw at Hobby Lobby. I've never seen it and oh my gosh. Well, of course, this caught my eye. So, Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. Look at that. I guess, I don't know. We go to Santa Monica a lot. And we have the pier. And it just reminded me of, you know, layout with that paper. It's just so pretty. Look at all the Eiffel Towers there. That's my favorite page. I love it. It's just so summery. Love it. You can do so much with this. Can even make a card. They're big enough for a card, um, or a layout, or even a mini album. This one's called uh, Boutique Vintage Stack. Really, really pretty. Pick it up at your local Hobby Lobby. This is not sponsored by Hobby Lobby by any way. <laughs> oh, and the stamps, guys. The stamps. I don't know if you guys have seen them. This it's Stephanie Bella. They come with really cute um, quotes. Uptown Girl Opal, the Optimist. Really cute. And... Wait, is that what it says? No, that's not what it says. I think what it says is... Ooh, focus. May your glass always be half full. 
And the Vespa girl says, life's too short, enjoy the ride. Super cute. I also got these. I got birthday on you too, and my sunshine. That's it. Okay, so for this, <clears throat> you guys have seen my tiny little Filofax. Um, Filofax are so expensive. I just didn't. I wanted something in my purse, and I didn't want to spend too much money on it. So I had purchased this. I had shared it on YouTube with you guys, and I have put it to good use. So the only bad thing I've said about this is that I should have gone bigger because it's so tiny. I don't think at the time I was working. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think I was probably working a part, my part-time job um, teaching, but I think that was it. And now it's like it's completely full. I got my money's worth with this one. I believe I got this one on sale, so I probably paid like 20 some dollars for this. I don't know. It wasn't so bad. Um, so this one's almost done. I have another month and a half for this one, so I decided... Oh, look at this pen, guys. I got this at uh, Bubble Gump's. That was just perfect. So this one's going to be retiring soon. And I know you can buy, buy the refills for it. I just wanted to go bigger. And I decided to invest in something bigger. And I bought this guy here. And it's not a Filofax. I love this one, though. I love the color of it. I love the size of it. I mean, look at in comparison. This is like the... The mommy right there. This is really tiny. <clears throat> so now that I'm working the two jobs that are super stressful, I decided, and they have the kids' school stuff coming up. We're putting my son in private high school, and it's just, oh my goodness, I don't know how we're going to do all of this. Um, I need to get my life on track, and I need more room for it. So um, I haven't done anything much to it. I just received it in the mail a couple days ago. Um, I know I read the reviews on it. A lot of the people were saying they didn't like how it folds, especially for the amount that we pay for it. I really don't mind. I, I mean, you can't see it on the outside. It's not bad. It doesn't. I don't mind on that at all. And um, I mean, there's lots and lots of storage. And I haven't. I really haven't decorated or put anything at all in it. I'm not going to use this one until. My month is up with the other one. Um, now, another thing I heard that people don't like was that these were already labeled. There's only three dividers that are labeled. And um, I don't mind because I will use this for meetings. It does say calendar. Obviously, we do use a calendar. Um, meetings, I have meetings all the time. I have meetings with students. I have meetings with my, um, for my second job, I have meetings with the, with the employees and the physicians. And then to-do lists. I, you know, these two are a must, I guess, for anybody, whether you use this for blogging, YouTubing, um, your business. I know I've seen some women use their organizers for chores and all that. I guess you can just customize it because they have three sticker sheets. And, um, yeah, you can put, you can change it. You can change it up. Right there it says personal, projects, work, features, and then they even give you some blank ones to just put whatever you want to put on there. And like I said, there's three pages of that. Um, another thing is the calendar, it doesn't come already set and labeled, so you can use it pretty much. You can buy one now. I think they discontinue them right away though because... I had seen some videos on a teal one, and that's the one I wanted. Um, however, they, when I emailed them, they said they discontinued the teal, and now they have the, this uh, cherry blossom one. No, wait. Cherry? I don't remember what it's called. It's a, the pink one. And um, so that's what I got. So I just bought this one. Um, so you can always just buy it and use it whenever you want. It's great for gifts. Pretty expensive gifts. <laughs> Um, what I, I did, I do miss, I think you can buy them separately probably, is the day-to-day -day calendar. Um, not the full month at a full view. I mean, like, let me see. 
I'm so bad at explaining myself. Like this. Like the day to day. Um, but I guess I'll just manage to squeeze everything in there. And um, the rest of the pages look like this. Like I said, this one says meeting. You can always put washi tape there and use it for whatever you want to use it for. There's a to-do list. And then the other tabs, there's four more tabs. They don't come labeled. They just come blank. So there's a lot of those pages. Blank pages. And then you get this in the back. And that's it. I thought it was super cute. They also include this little tiny notepad. Super cute. Can't wait to get start getting um, using this one. It's really big. And um, if you're still watching my video, if I have not bored you yet, go ahead and put uh, planners anywhere in your comments down below. And I will do a, another giveaway. Oh, and by the way, it also came in this. The packaging, guys, I'll include pictures after this video of the unboxing. Uh, just pictures, though. It came in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous box. Super cute. All right, guys. Bye. Have a crafty week.